I have a very unconventional story. And so a boy invited me to church. If we're gonna date, I went to church. The local church changed my life and I became a long-term volunteer. And after a number of years, they gave me a job. And a few years into working for a church, I had a lot of people invest in me. And they realized that I had a voice and I had ability to speak and present that I hadn't recognized, but they did. So they helped me along, challenged me, and I started to participate in services, prayers, announcements, things like that. And then one day, one of the seminary presidents um, came in to our church and I was praying in the service and he listened and after the service he came and he said, hey, I'm the president of Western Theological Seminary. I'd really love to have a conversation with you. Find out a little bit about your story and maybe see if Western's a good place for you to be. And I said, absolutely not. I said, nope, I'm not interested in seminary. God has called me to be in the church, but I'm not called to get an education. Really, I was terrified. I was a graduate of alternative education. I had children really young, and so I really didn't think that I could handle grad school because I didn't have an undergrad. And so I avoided this particular seminary president for a long time. And then a few months later, there he was in our church preaching, and I was, of course, part of the service, praying, doing announcements, and he said, Kate, you have an amazing gift, but I think that you also need to go to seminary. Come and let's talk. So I did. I went and had a conversation, came to Western, did a little tour, and we talked and he said, you are a female woman of color in a predominantly white town. And the Holy Spirit definitely has called you to do the work of the local church and ministry, but you need an education. You need a theological education. And I looked at him and I said, I do not, I cannot do this. If I go here, I will fail. He said, no, you won't. I said, yes, I will. He said, well, what if we took care of the first class? And I said, well, I never turned down free, so I guess I'll come to class. And so my little tale came to Western Theological Seminary and I took an Old Testament class with Dr. Carol Bechtel and it absolutely changed my life to see a strong, wise, smart woman teach Old Testament theology in a way that made every single person in the room curious in a way that drew me in, in a way that encouraged me. I got done with that class and I didn't fail. In fact, I got a B plus and I was like, I can't believe I did this. Me, me who was a teenage mom, me who graduated from alternative ed. And so I went back and said, this was unbelievable. I actually wanna take another class. And so I was accepted as a graduate certificate student in 2013. The graduate certificate at that time were for non-traditional students as a way to give them an equitable start in, in higher education. And so I started taking classes and it blew my mind. I took church history and um, history of the black church and ministry at the margins and I just ate it up. And I really didn't know what I was doing at the time. I didn't know how to write papers, but we have this thing called the Writing Center. And so I would take my, my papers and I would go in and people helped me learn how to do a bibliography and learn how to footnote. And so I made my way. And during that time, I got a call to step in to become a pastor at a church. Um, 50 hours a week and we had three kids in college and life was really busy and so I realized that I needed to slow down. I started to just take one class at a time. Sometimes it was one class a year. Um, it was all dependent on what we could afford at the time because three kids in college is a thing. And so I think it was probably a right around 2021. Um, I had gone through another job transition and I hadn't taken classes for about two years and I came back to Western and I said, I really wanna finish the certificate that I started in 2013. And they said, mm, that's great that you wanna come back, but you're not gonna finish the certificate. And I said, what? They said, actually, we're gonna enroll you as a master's student. We think that you have done the work that you can handle the full master's curriculum. And so we wanna invite you to come in as a master's student. And it blew my mind because I was like, wow, not a certificate. I mean, I could actually have a master's in theology without an undergrad? I said, yes, you can. 
And so I started taking a couple more classes at a time. I started to take two classes a semester and managed to do that and a husband and a full-time job. And um, I noticed that I started to fall in love with the faculty, staff, and students in a new way because I had moved from being a distance learning student to an in-residence student. So I got to build these relationships with students and I got to do these study groups. I was like, man, I'm studying with 20 year olds, 30 year olds, 50 year olds. It blew my mind. And then in 2023, I graduated with a master's of arts in Christian ministry. My husband, my children all came out to celebrate. And I was so excited that this journey I started 10 years prior, it took me 10 years to finish a master had concluded with me walking across the stage with a hood and a robe and a certificate. The reality was it was the first time I had ever experienced a graduation. It was the, I didn't walk when I was in high school. I didn't go through those, like the graduation in open houses. But I got to do that when I graduated with my Master's of Arts. I got to walk across the stage and hear my name call and receive my diploma from the seminary president. And now that hangs in my office here at Western Theological Seminary because lo and behold, after starting my journey working for a local church and um, maneuvering my way through grad school, um, I accepted a position here and was called to care for the students in a new way and to support the local church in a new way. So that's how I, I landed in a role here where I say that it's part cruise director, part care pastor. And so I get to walk along students and we focus in on their formation, focus in on helping them cultivate community, helping them to get connected to resources such as mentorship and counseling and internships and um, food resources. And so I have fallen in love with what I get to do here and that support a new generation of people like me and people unlike me who are seeking their certificates, their masters, their THMs, their doctorate of ministry. And all along the way I can say, if I can do it, you can do it too. And so that's a little bit of my story.